Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're going to be enhancing and pushing Pokemon Moon to the limit. I mean, we're actually going to be getting into the game, we're going to be getting amongst the actual game, the code, everything that's going along with it, and we're going to be changing it so you've got no longer those black lines around your Pokemon characters. Now, this sounds like it's going to be complicated, however, it's a five minute job, and once it's done, it's done forever, and you don't need to worry about it ever again. Those games will be crystal clear, no pixelated black lines, it's just a thousand times better. So in this guide today, I'm going to show you how to do it, there's going to be no messing around. If you have any trouble actually playing the game, look in the description down below, I've got loads of guides to actually get the emulator running to its full potential and especially getting problematic games like this working. But for now, let's get stuck into these black lines, so without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right, so you're here for the Pokemon then, and we're going to get it sorted so we can get rid of those black lines. Now, as far as I'm aware, this works on both Sun and Moon version of the Pokemon games. There is also all kinds of different hacks and slashes and edits that we can do for other versions of the game. Now, in the way that we're going to do it today, we are not going to do it through the emulator. What we are actually going to do is transform the game itself. So we're going to go into the game like I was talking about just a second ago and we're going to edit a few things. Again, it's not that complicated. It's just something that's not what we do every day. However, now I'm here, now we can do this every day. Well, we can do it once, then you can forget about it. So let's do this. Okay, first off, you're going to need actually the game. Not that, the game. <laughs> so, I can tell you before, I've got all my .3DS files all here. One of them is Pokemon Moon. What we're going to do is the most simplest method to get rid of all those black lines and make it look as high fidelity as possible. The way to do that is to make a new game. Now, this sounds more complicated than what it is. It's a simple case of clicking a few buttons. That is it. So, exit out of here for the time being. Go into the description down below. There will be a link to this program here it's a couple of megabytes and get it installed get it so you got this on your desktop which is hxd this lets us edit hexes now don't worry this sounds all complicated it's a simple matter of changing a few lines of text so get it installed get it on your desktop then also in the description there will be this file it's a simple text document and within there's a few lines that i put in there so it's easy for you guys to cut and paste so download that open it up then open up your hex XD and let's do this. How exciting is this? <laughs> right, this looks proper geeky, proper complicated, but it's not. It's a walk in the park. First off, then go to file, open, and now find wherever your Pokemon Moon is. So mine's here. Load it up, and as you can see, it's just loaded up a huge, great big wall of text. And it's all just gibberish, isn't it, at the end of the day? But what we need to do is one simple thing. We need to change somewhere in that wall of text that combination of numbers with this combination of numbers. Now, luckily, this program makes it super easy. So all we need to do then is go to the first one, which I've labeled fine. Highlight all the numbers and text within there. Right click, copy. Then all you need to do is go over to your program, go into the search tab, going to find then in this box here paste that sequence of numbers and letters then in data type change that to hex values then it's a simple case hopefully if all goes well I click OK and it will find somewhere in all that gum of numbers that sequence of numbers and letters hopefully it will work yes get in so there we go that is what we need to change and what we need to change it to is the bit that I've labeled replace so it's a simple case of highlighting all these numbers and text. Copy. Then go over to where it's highlighted, right click, and then put paste insert. Now what that's done is replace what we had there previously with what we've just pasted and copied. So in other words, we've replaced that bit that we just found with that bit that we've just put in there. How awesome is this? It sounds geeky, but trust me guys, it's done. That is it, that is all you needed to do exit out of here now what we need to do is save this as a game again sounds complicated it's a simple case of clicking on file save as not save save as 
And what we're going to do is we're going to make another version of Pokemon Moon. Except this time we're going to label it no lines. Because what we've just done is get rid of the black lines. So no lines. Or you can name it whatever you want. However, we needed to tell it what kind of file format it is. Otherwise it will just come up as a blank file. So at the end put .3ds. So whatever you've called this, at the end put .3ds in small letters at the end okay then it will know that it's a .3ds file and everything will be good to go once we get back in the emulator press save now that bit may take longer depending on what kind of system you're running but it once it's done exit out of everything go back into where you've got your games and hopefully we should now have one version of pokemon moon which is the original and this version Obviously this version has got the lines in and this version has got them taken out. So you can load whichever one you want. It makes no difference whatsoever. However, if you don't like one, then you can always revert back to the other and vice versa. This is awesome, isn't it? Okay then, exit out of there. Now hopefully, when we launch the emulator, it should load both of them so we can choose from which one we want to play. So as you can see now, we've got Pokemon Moon and we've got Pokemon Moon No Lines. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to load this up just to prove to you that this has now worked. Okay, I'm now going to fast forward to where you can actually see that there's no lines. Okay then, so now as you can see, we are just about to be awakened and as you can see, we now have got rid of all those ugly black lines, which is absolutely awesome. So now we've got our player, he's up and running, literally, and well, this is what it looked like before. And as you can see, it's night and day comparison. Having a look at what it's like with the lines compared to without the lines. It just looks so much better. You gotta take into consideration that the 3DS is a tiny screen. It's a tiny console with obviously the graphics and the pixels wouldn't look as exaggerated as they do on that screen. When they're then blown up to whatever size monitor you're using, or in some cases TVs, then those pixels look so out of place and uh, once you've got rid of them, you can never go back. <laughs> they just look too daft. But without them, the game looks absolutely beautiful. It looks like next-gen stuff. So, yeah, at least now we can save a bit of Pokemon. We can save our eyes. And, well, we can improve the kind of gameplay and the way it's rendered to us on our screens. So, as always, guys, put in the comments down below if you want me to do any other guides with these games. If you want to have a look at any other games. Or if you want me to do anything with them. As always, if there's any other emulators or any video in general. Just let me know and we'll see what we can do. I'm here to put smiles on everybody's faces just like Pokemon. Well, it's been a pleasure as always doing this for you today guys. Please like, please subscribe. Please do everything in this world of YouTube where uh, we get Pokemon looking like next gen. But most of all, most of all, you have a good day. Laters!